aren't that many 25-50 games going, so I'm playing a little 10-20, which I haven't done in a while. Um, but there's a few interesting players, that, or specifically one interesting player that I'm playing against is uh, Punketti. This guy over here, he's he plays a really interesting and bizarre style. He, um, he plays extremely loose preflop, so a lot of people when they first play with him, they think he's a fish just because he... You see him playing so many hands that most good players don't play. But he's actually extremely talented and very good. Um, and, and plays quite well post-flop. i got another table right here. So I'm going to guess I'm going to be doing four tables. I'm probably going to cut it out after, after that. No more tables because I can't really fit anymore. Um, so i got <coughs> these three 10, 20, 6 max and one... 2550, which is three-handed. Uh, and just started the session, so nothing really interesting has happened yet. Um, I know Born to Dog Baby, this guy over here, I'm playing three-handed with. Um, I've played a lot with, actually, I've played a lot more with one of his roommates, So, but I think they have kind of a similar style. Maybe a little different. Um, but generally three-handed, especially with the person on your right, you're going to battle a lot, so hopefully I get into some interesting situations with him. I'm going to fold the king two offsuit here, obviously from the big blind when he raises. But you should keep in mind when you're playing in the big blind, um, especially against a small blind open, you can turn a profit with a huge, huge amount of hands. Just because you have position and you know that they're opening a really wide range, so you can call with an even wider range, pretty much. And I'm going to fold the king two, and and my cell phone's ringing, so I'm going to pause the video for a second. Okay, so I'm back. Um, basically, uh, weird hand here. Um, I raised preflop with the 10 8 of clubs. I'm going to get into why I raised that under the gun in a bit. But uh, I, flopped it. I had a great flop, but then this turn is pretty bad, and he leads into me. So I'm just going to call and see what he does on the river. That's a pretty blank river, but I still don't beat very many hands. Now I gotta kinda decide here if I wanna try to squeeze a little value out of him. Pretty much I'm definitely going to actually. Because alright, here's the thing, I'm not worried about him having any ten because I'm chopping with I'm chopping with every ten. Because we got unless he has ace ten, because we got kings and or we got uh, tens and fives with the king kicker. I don't really think he has a king, so I think he would value bet it. I think there's a good chance he has something really marginal. And he's gonna try to snap me off here. I just hope he doesn't show up. And plus I always prefer to bet. Even if it's neutral, I'd rather bet than check, because I I like the illusion of of your opponents constantly thinking that you have that you're bluffing and that you're you're putting way more pressure on them than you actually are. It just make it takes people out of their comfort zone and makes them play poorly. 